All right, we've had some discussion recently about the nomenclature regarding the various experiments that we're all working on and, and attempting to describe them to other people. Uh, I don't think anyone can disagree that we need a more standardized nomenclature in describing our experiments so that we immediately convey to others what it is we're working on just by the name alone. Um, CROB227 wants to call this a CROB cell. And he wants everybody to know it as the CROB cell because, as he puts it, that way everybody's using the same descriptors and the same nomenclature. But that doesn't tell you that it's a spiral plate design. It says it was invented by CROB, but it doesn't really tell you what it is. So going forward, I am going to be calling this the spiral plate cell uh, or the parallel spiral plate cell. But I think, I think spiral plate cell conveys the meaning uh, rather, rather nicely. And so as not to be hypocritical, this is not the zero cell any longer. Uh, it is nondescript. It is inappropriate for me to call it that. And going forward, I will be calling this the vertical series plate cell. Very simple. You immediately know what it is I'm talking about when I give you the generic name. The ver vertical series plate cell, or we'll call it the vertical cell for short. That differentiates it between uh, plate stack designs that may be cubical in nature or even horizontal in nature where the plate stack is so tall laying sideways that it is wider than it is tall. I of course prefer the tall design, the vertical design, because it leverages the effect inside the, inside the tank for the cell that it creates a much higher convection current, uh, taking advantage of the chimney flue effect and increasing the convection circulation through the cell, which of course releases more gas and aids in the heat dissipation that's, that's actually created in the electrolysis process. This here is simply going to be known as the plasma test chamber. Um, you can call it the cylindrical plasma test chamber, but um, I've got my anode plate across the back. I conductor strap that runs up the side to the center terminal and the cathode electrode going through the opposite side on a piece of silicone spark plug wire insulator that allows me to slide it in and out and adjust the the gap between the cathode and the anode inside the test chamber. So that's about it. That's all I really wanted to say at this point. This is the vertical cell or the vertical series plate cell. This is the spiral cell or the spiral parallel plate cell and the plasma test chamber.